We are here with the co-host of the Marvel Universe, Mr. Ben Michael. Hello, Ben. Hi, folks. Hello, Ben's Marbles. And hello, Ben's Peltiers. So most of the basic bases covered. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Uh, that's a particularly nice pattern on that Superman. Yeah, that stood right out Very of the nice. lot that I, yeah. <laughs> that I And this, that I this shade of, of tiger is an unusual color. I have one with the same shade. It's just a, you know, look at the variations. It's coral -like. Yeah, yeah, that's the prettiest shade. It's are. true, and when you put like the, uh, when you put a brown cow next to them, it actually looks like it fits right into that spectrum. It's close, right? Speaking of cows. Oh yeah. What do we have here? It's the second cow of the day. We're getting a herd together. Ooh, that's terrific. These are super hard to find pelts. It's nice to find people to help verify that too, because mm. when you post a picture online and the colors aren't quite right, it's very easy for people right. to dismiss yeah. it and say, oh no, that, right, right. that's a, a wasp or a tiger. Yeah, but in hand, um, you get to see the true colors there. Yeah. This pelt I love. This is a, I think a Miller bee. Oh, it's just so cool. Really pretty. A lot of, nice lot pattern. of pattern going on in there. Yeah, that's terrific. There's nice Christiansen striped opaque. I don't have many, but that's one of my few it's verified nice. Christiansens. Yeah, it almost looks bifurcated, right, with the two colors. Perhaps, yeah. Hmm. Clam bra. Nope, that's a uh, Indian, right? Over here. Where are we looking at? I'm over this side. This is a clam broth. On clam a, broth? On a black opaque yeah. base. Okay. And it's got 17 lines on it. And the guy I got that from said it had been kept in a plush box for the last 80 years. Wow. And normally that type of marble would be out of my range. Price range? But I was yeah. luckily able to barter some of my own work for that. Oh, oh that's, hey, was, why not? It was amazing. <laughs> that's probably not the last time you do I something. Hope, this is nice you're listening. <laughs> a John Deere yeah, it's type. Like a, uh, it's like John Deere colors swirl. on an old uh, handmade swirl. Love that it's, one. That's a Scott Patrick so, contemporary wasp. handmade yeah. wasp. And come to find out, he was it's known not, not for trying, you know, he was known for making mimicking, mimicking yeah. peltier and, right. you know, and other hard to, to make marbles. So that's a nice wire pull. Um, sure is. It does, it's missing the big bubble in the middle that would this point it as glass, a valley glass. Um, that would be my guess, but most of them do have a giant bubble in the middle. I mean, not all of them, but I mean, no, not all of them. I, this is perfectly... I've also yeah, learned that acceptable as velvet glass. I've also learned actually able, really hard to find with the two colors that I have a whole bunch trace of each other. Them. One of the earliest finds I found was a stash of valley glass. In the states, they're hard to find. I've gotten all mine from mailing and trading with European people. I thought they were older too. I mean, they're not terribly old, right? They're like 50s, 60s. Post World War II, yeah. Um, this and it's made out of, um, this glass is industrial glass <laughs> that they use to make windows. Interesting. Uh, for auto, automotive windows. That's what they use <laughs> for their base. That's why it's softer and, and, and they get damaged a lot huh. easier than yeah, American a lot marbles. Yeah, ones I have are pretty. This one's in great though. shape. Oh, That's cool. a good find. So I put this one up on a Facebook group uh -huh. and people start flipping out. They're like thinking that's, you know, a Leighton or, you know, just okay. some early handmade from yeah. Europe. And then again, one person says, what's the seam look like? On it? Does it have a cut line? Uh -huh. Can you see the cut line on it? Um, right there. I do see a hook. On yeah, the on both ends of Brian Graham's marbles, there's a little hook there. He makes transitional marbles, so he does. So yeah. he, he on the old pelt machine. He's got the old Miller so that's the, a one inch pelt here. Yeah. So, so one person yeah. with a good keen eye says, yeah. "I don't collect a lot of contemporary stuff, but I do collect Brian Graham contemporaries." 
you should look him up. And I did, and come to find out, that's who I bought that collection of marbles from. Oh, wow, <laughs> you bought them from the I maker bought them from himself. Brian Graham, so I reached out to him. You should have asked him, hey, I did. what I, did you sell me? <laughs> I reached out to him wow. and I said, hey, this is a little kooky, but I bought some marbles from you yeah. a month ago. And um, somebody's telling me they think this is one of your marbles in there. And he looks at it, he says, oh, it very well could be. He says, I got marbles all over the house. They might, something might have just fell in there. And uh, he says, enjoy. So awesome. since then, you know, this is also a Brian Graham. I, you know, oh, okay. I keep an eye out for him because they're just yeah. clearly like he's, he's I like old the look school, on him. you know? Yeah, I, I really like his, uh, you know, hand gathered machine rolled look. That's, you know, yeah. that, that's exactly what they are. And exactly. They look pretty. You know, In the long run, simple. that's that's kind of where I want to go with it. Here's another one right next to it. That's another one of his. It's like a right. green brick yeah. almost. Oh, nice. I like that a lot. Keep an eye on that. So <laughs> Did you bring any of your own? Well, right there. That okay. is, that's a Ben Michael. Right here. And uh, I, I love that one just because, I mean, it, that one broke in half on me when I was working it, you know? It <laughs> right. started off as something completely different. And literally broke apart yeah and then i said and i said well let me keep working it and i got it to go back together <laughs> and like frank and marvel yes so awesome. the result is this beautiful zebra yes it is marble and like if, from one angle you can really see like a zebra eye in it more ben michael handmaids and these are torch made right yeah so i work with oxygen Literally and propane torch. okay and i melt glass rods sometimes i melt marbles down. Uh, this is the okay. first two stager I made. So it's got the outer swirls. Right. And then it has a core, which I call like, my cores aren't so neat, so I call them kooky <laughs> cores. <laughs> I always forget the name of the company. Wish, Swiss, Uh Wismac. Wismac. So yeah. uh, these are actually, I got to send out to Richard Buell, who oh. sent me some color to work with. Okay. And I may, you know, I've had some success. So, you, not all colored is the same. I mean, it's reject glass to begin with. So yeah. sometimes you put it in the oven and it just Doesn't breaks. Doesn't want to play. Uh, and yeah. sometimes it just, it just falls apart. When I first started digging, okay. so, so the, the, the marbles that I pulled out of the bottle dump when I went out and dug yeah. the first time, this is, this is one of them. And it's one of my favorite marbles because of that. Yeah, this is a tiger eye. This is a master. I went out there in two hours and found like six or eight marbles. And nice. it was just like a message from above. Yeah. That I was on the right path. And, yeah, uh, you were. I, you Look know, at the, you now. The, 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 uh, the, the, the animals, let's just say the animals in the forest got real quiet after they heard right. what I had to exclaim after I found cool. marbles in the wild. So. Well, we're looking forward to seeing how you explore the handmade realm and uh, these are, uh, this is a great way to start. These are terrific marbles. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. That. <laughs> Something rolled away. Must be pink champions. <laughs> Look who just showed up. <laughs> what, David? What is this? This is going to take an hour. <laughs> I know. That's uh, the challenge of it all. Look who we have. We've got David Tamulevich. Marvel's <laughs> historian and consummate professional. Marble mania. Yeah, <laughs> the maritime marbler. <laughs> and what do you have here, Dave? This is this, quite an item. Yeah. Item the, one. <laughs> this is a tank wash from um, Jabo, 2008-2009. I think these are some of my absolute favorite marbles because, well, there, there weren't many of them, but they're so... Yeah. They're so unusual, you know. Yeah, the color combinations. Yeah, yeah. Terrific. So they were melting out the tank. Yeah. So um, there was not, you know, there just weren't a lot of these. Yeah. And and again, the, you know, all the colors that were stuck in the tank kind of all came together to make. Uh, <laughs> terrific. I know. Marble. I know. Yeah. I, I Look know. at this with the turquoise and the pink. Man. Yes. These yes. are about nine sixteenths. They're cute as hell. I know. So this actually, had, they're working with confetti already here.
All right, so these are factory found yep. marbles, right? Yep, um, the, the head, head of the factory uh, let my daughter and I in there one evening. And, mm -hmm. um, and and let us go through the, the bins and whatever you know, what, and, and would sell us whatever we took. So we were going through this one bin, and my daughter found this marble, this white base with a pink V and a Lutz V in it. I I Good couldn't grief. I couldn't believe it. That is quite a color combination, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. I can see the Lutz there. That's outrageous. Right? And these are 916s here. These blue ones have a venturine. Man, this is quite a find here. Right? You know, look, look at, at it. this here. A right. lot of these have that, you know, U shape here. Yes. In these. Just yep. a simple pattern, but beautiful. Big fat shooters. Yes, and the, and the thing I like about this, I was in Central Ohio. Yeah. And I stopped at an antique store, and these, these, <laughs> these, these, and these. Yeah. So you had a box of them, and I had never seen Peltiers of the, this size. And I, I and I, I said to the woman, I said, you know, I don't know if these are are, are just decor, and. Um, but I, I took a chance, I bought them, and, uh, and she gave them to me at a reasonable price, and... Uh, you struck gold. And then, These are genuine pelts. Good <laughs> job. Yeah, it's like, nice yeah. story. Oh, here's some big old bananas. All right, we're rolling. We got a yeah, platter we, of champions. Yes, and these are... Um, <laughs> These were mostly from, well, these are from Dennis Webb, you know, so, and, and these are from Dennis Webb. And then, oh, and those are the Spirit of 76 yes. by Centennials. Yes. Yeah, there they are. Okay. And, you know, and these are, whoops, these are Whirlwinds. I think Dave McCullough made those. And then, and then you've got a good spray of champion furnace. Yeah, good kind example of some here. of the varieties. Yeah. And here's some more of the standard champion type uh, color types. Yes, and these are the ones that Champion was giving us. I think this is the last one. These purple and pink, maybe the last run they did. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, we were finding those on the grass on the right, surface. Right. Yeah. Ar Armalair. Okay. Armalair. I bought these. The legendary. Yes. Armalair. I bought I bought this from Charlie Stutzman. Um, Don Michaels of Champion and Jeff Bogard and someone else, for some business reason, they needed a new company to, to market. And so they decided to start Armalair. I don't think it lasted very long. Uh -huh. I think most of the marbles were Champion, uh -huh. um, which I have, I think I have three bags. I just bought one, but um, these these all look, look Champion to me. All right, we gotta get Alf, you're right? Okay. Dave, thank you so much. What I brought today to show is stuff that I found in the wild before the internet existed. Mm. And the items are very rare. And they're mostly, they're all aqua boxes and uh, cartoon character box, this little box. And this box are very rare. Oh, cool little shotgun boxes there. That box is this box. Okay. I don't want to open the tab again. Yeah. Because it's marked Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, nice. What, yeah, that's the inside sleeve there. And according to Roger and Claudia Hardy, okay. that Acro never asked or did any advertising with anybody but people in West Virginia. A lot of people have this box, but not with the bullet hole. I see. Uh, this box also is very rare. 
Five, they hold five player size yep. marbles. Yep. You could probably get. Oh, oh, is there a price on these? Yep. Mm, there's no price indication. Wow, I've never seen that box. Nope. And these are slags, huh? Look like slags in there. Probably 12 or 15. But this box is one of the rarest ones. Yeah, it's got uh, a little scene. It's not a Popeye scene, but it's a cartoon of kids playing marbles. Okay. Big time marbles. I, I just donated the play, big time the block, the, uh, the book with everyone in all 10 characters. There's 10, 10 different cartoon chapters, and they were all printed in a magnificent the name of the book. Uh, and uh, I asked Roger and Claudia Hardy about it, and they got me, sent me some information on it. Okay. What's unique inside of it is all this is the way I purchased it. There's two marbles, and there's Oxblood Steak. I don't think these guys have ever seen it. I've never had them out. This is the first time they've been out there. Yeah, I've only seen photos of those. That's insane. God, please. You better hide those. <laughs> Put them back. <laughs> Roger, That's great. Roger Hardy, he didn't believe that. We've only seen one other box like this, and we owned it, and it sold for around $2,000. This is a super rare box, and we would value it now at $2,500, and this was written in 2002. Wow. I'm getting hot here. Are these acros here we're these looking are at? Acros. Wow. These are acros. These are all acros. I think they call them heroes. Okay. Yeah, heroes is a patch. Oh, nice. They're in their original packaging. Yep. Ooh. That's some juicy stuff right there, mister. According to Bob Block, this should be that metal insert here so they can what's inside of them. Well, that's well, this is the way I found it. Huh. That's quite a treasure. Thanks. Thank you for sharing that, Alfie. Thank you, Ben, David, and Alfie for showing us your fabulous finds. If you like this video, please give it a like. And thank you for watching Vintage Machine Made Marbles.